Let's talk about the importance of the local church and the Holy Spirit. What role does the new believer play in the local church? And what role does the local church play in the new convert's life? Hmm. Um, should new believers be involved in ministry? Say again. Should new believers be in, How should they be involved with ministry? Because earlier you mentioned right. they should get involved. Right. But to what extent? Obviously, they shouldn't be in the front preaching. Right. Right? Yeah. Um, but how involved should they be? To what extent? Yeah. So, you know, if, if they're being discipled, if they're if, if there's genuine, you know, a genuine faith, it could be, you know, simple things behind the scenes, you know, cleaning the church, you know, um, being around brothers after service, uh, you know, helping to close the church down or whatever, you know, um, getting involved with people, uh, you know, ministry is not just, you know, set up and tear down and ushering. It's also, you know, what I'm saying uh, finding out what the needs are. Mm. You know, hey, how, how can I help, uh, you know, with, with a brother who can't cut the grass because, you know, they had surgery type thing. Right. You know, what right. I'm saying more <laughs> the personal um, ministry than anything, you know, yeah. find out what the needs are, you know, because that's how you get to know people, too, is by helping them with what they need, you know, yeah. Um there's a lot of needs in the church. Uh, Lewis says chair stacking ministry. Yeah, you could do that. Uh <laughs> yeah. You can also impress the girls in the church that way, too. <laughs> right, Lou? Lewis? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've seen him pick up like five chairs at a time with one uh, arm. He's trying to be He-Man. He's trying to be He-Man. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's real tempting. Uh, I've seen... Uh, new believers and converts want the stage too and what they have to understand is you know that's a an immaturity issue you know what i'm saying i would say or, or a maturity issue i think they need to understand it's the, not about you bro yeah it's not it's not you know it's about serving the body yeah you know, no matter what so i think through discipleship they'll learn that the spotlight really isn't something that you actually want Mm. That if God gives that to you, it's a result of serving first. Yeah. So they you have to they have to understand serving the body first rather than leading the body. Right. So that's the role <laughs> that the new believer plays in the church. Now, yes. what role does the local church play in the new convert's life when it comes to like yeah. discipleship, even mentors? Yeah. Like how how would you how how does that fit into the new convert's life? Yeah. Well, I you know yeah. Uh, Paul said you have many teachers but don't have many fathers mm -hmm. so do the men and the women of the church understand that there are to be spiritual mom m mothers and fathers to those who come into faith mm -hmm. you know because you're talking about a different field to discipleship you know when people hear discipleship sometimes they think student to master which actually technically that's what the word means but Jesus wasn't just a master to the student later on he will call them friends mm. you know what i mean so i that's where a lot of people miss it they want to keep it in a classroom setting appointment schedule type thing jesus took it further than that yeah he walked with them he ate with them he he, he you know they 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 were just together the whole time they were in the boat together while things were crazy uh, you know, they were constantly amongst each other and it got to the point where Jesus said, don't call me teacher, call me friend. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, um, so I think that the friendship, the the familiar, the the closeness needs to be what discipleship is. If not, you know, then you're missing the point. You know, I, I can't disciple everybody at our church. Right. Right. But I'm hoping that the men and women of our church become the hands and feet you know uh, of of the gospel and be able to father and mother people in the faith not just teach mm. you know but father and mother and teaching the scriptures that way right? yeah. that's much far better than and i think that's the biblical model yeah. you know what i'm saying um yeah i i think we're missing it i think we are i think a lot of people just have uh put discipleship in compartments uh it's comfortable you know what i'm saying it, it's not you know discipleship talks if you if you follow christ deny yourself 
carry your cross and follow me it's like okay yeah you, you have to die to self and that means die to your schedule sometimes too you know yeah um so i yeah i it might sound radical to some but i think that was normative in the bible yeah and, and you, know, you I mean? know think about the role that small groups fellowship and you know certain ministries in the church they play a role in the new believers life as well yeah. they're crucial being you know involved in these things not just serving in them i'm talking about for the new convert to attend certain ministry groups small groups those type of things yeah. fellowship events those are so important yeah. you, you have to develop a love for your brothers and sisters in christ mm. yeah, yeah. And, and those are developed in those type of places um let me ask you this now how important is the spirit of god when it comes to um a new convert's life like how is the spirit of god involved in a new convert's life <laughs> well you wouldn't be a new convert without the spirit of god <laughs> absolutely <laughs> you know what I mean? absolutely let's make that clear everything falls back on the holy spirit yeah, when it man. comes to a new convert. Yeah, he's called the helper. You know what I'm saying? Jesus called him the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in his name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's super important. He He's our helper. He's our God. He's our teacher. So it's essential, man. Um, and it's a mark of genuine faith um, that, that he's there and that, and that he's evident. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, Paul gives the warning about sexual immorality. He talks about your body's the temple of the holy spirit within you whom you have from god you are not your own so it's essential he yeah. marks you you yeah. know you're you're his he regenerates you he carries out the work of the godhead you know of the father and the son um and so that contrast between flesh and spirit is also important the fact that you have the spirit of god means you're no longer of the flesh you're no lo longer under sin because the spirit of God dwells within you, you know, and that warning of not grieving the Holy Spirit um, because you were sealed for the day of redemption. Um, it's essential, man. Uh, you know, you can't have salvation without the spirit of God. That means there's going to be conviction. There's going to be this sense of, you know, what I'm saying um, of righteousness, righteous living, holy living that actually like we said before precedes morality precedes you know the standards that you're, you're supposed to live by god just doesn't want you to live morally he wants you to live holy you know and, and the spirit of god works that in in our hearts you know which Absolutely. doesn't stop just at uh when you first get saved that's a continual thing man the holy spirit is so often forgotten like they say, he's, you know, he's the usually forgotten the forgotten God. person of the Trinity. Right. Um, I want to add in there as well with the Holy Spirit. He will use your convictions. Mm. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, like when you first come to Christ, when people first come to Christ, they're so sensitive to everything. Um, you'll literally throw everything in the trash. Mm. I remember going not overboard, but I really went in. And I just threw everything away, man. I, I, I got rid of my Kobe Bryant jerseys. I bought, <laughs> yo, this is how crazy it was, man. I, I Not crazy, but this is how radical it was. I bought a couple jerseys when I was a new Christian. And by the time that I bought them and they got delivered to the house, I had already decided in my mind that I was going to get rid of those jerseys. Mm. Because I said I did not want to idolize another man. And I was just stuck on that right there. Now, do I kind of wish I had those jerseys? Now to rock, <laughs> that's another conversation. But I would have told you to get rid of those too. Yeah, at know? that time, man. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> at that time, man, yeah. I I was so <clears throat> I was so sensitive to all of that. And and those things are good because God will use those convictions. It'll help you to mm. navigate through um, when it comes to the commands. Yeah. in the instructions of the scripture so um i did want to throw that in there and but like it's so important to have the holy spirit um to be connected to the holy spirit to abide in the holy spirit when you're yeah. a new christian